Welcome, beloveds of God, to Ash Wednesday and to the season of Lent. On Ash Wednesday throughout the centuries, Christians have started the journey of Lent by imposing ashes upon their foreheads to remember that we are dust and nothing more, and to remember that we belong to Christ and nothing less. In Lent, we are reminded that again and again, suffering and brokenness find us. We doubt again, we lament again, we mess up again. The story of Jesus on the cross repeats again. And every time lives are taken unjustly, every time the powerful choose corruption and violence, every time we forget how to love, with weariness we exclaim again, how long, O Lord? And yet, in the midst of all that's happening in our lives, God offers this sacred refrain, I choose you, I love you, and I will repair you. Again and again, God breaks the cycle and offers a new way forward. On this Ash Wednesday, we are invited by the God who loves us, invited in by this God. Again and again, God invites us into fuller ways of being, and there's no better time to accept that kind of invitation than now, to live lives differently. While tonight we will not physically mark our foreheads with ashes in the sanctuary, those ashes can still mark our hearts, reminding you and me that we are dust and nothing more, and we belong to Christ and nothing less. As we begin Ash Wednesday, hear these words from the prophet Joel. Yet even now, says the Lord, return to me with all your heart, with fasting, with weeping, with mourning. Rend your hearts and not your clothing. Return to the Lord your God, for God is gracious and merciful, slow to anger, abounding in steadfast love, and relents from punishing. The word of God for the people of God. I will 
Let us pray. Creator God, there is a rumbling in us that won't let go. It stirs in us like the wind stirs leaves, inviting us to move, drawing us forth. When we're quiet, we know that rumble is the Holy Spirit, dancing love awake in us. So we're here, and we're still, and we're quiet. And on this first day of Lent, we're asking you to draw near. As we hear your scripture read aloud, open the door for us to move. Invite us in, rumble us awake. Gratefully, we pray. Amen. May your mouth speak of God's goodness. May your arms hold those in need. May your feet walk towards justice. May your heart trust its worth. May your soul dance in God's grace, and may this be your rhythm again and again and again until God's promised day. In the name of the lover, the beloved, and love itself, go with courage, go with heart, and go in peace. Amen. Mm -hmm.